From the Cal Fire Information Center, I'm Daniel Berlant with the Fire Situation Report from Monday, August 25th, 2014. Firefighters were very busy this past week and responding to a roller coaster of activity. It all started early in the week when dry lightning struck Northern California once again, leading to red flag warnings across multiple counties. Thanks to the aggressive initial attack by firefighters, the fires that were sparked by the lightning were all kept to very small spots. Now, early on Sunday morning, as reported across the country, Napa County was rocked by a magnitude 6.0 earthquake, damaging buildings, igniting fires, and sending over 100 people to the hospital. Cal Fire and the Napa County Fire Department sent multiple resources and firefighters to the city of Napa to assist them with a multitude of different incidents related to the quake. Now, in addition to the earthquake activity, Cal Fire responded to a number of new large wildfires throughout the week. Zooming in first to Madera County, where firefighters responded to the Junction Fire that sparked on August 18th near Oakhurst. That fire moved quickly and grew to 600 acres and destroyed dozens of structures in the area. The majority of those were minor buildings such as outbuildings, motorhomes, and even a few storage containers. Firefighters were able to reach full containment on the Junction Fire earlier Monday morning. And in Trinity County, fire crews are battling the Oregon Fire near the town of Weaverville. That fire started Sunday night and is currently 650 acres. Mandatory evacuations have been ordered throughout several areas in the north part of the town as firefighters work tirelessly to contain that blaze. As of Monday morning, the Oregon Fire is 25% contained and firefighters continue to make good progress. Switching over to our fire weather headlines, this week we're expecting to see another hot week across much of the state with a warm and drying trend early in the week. As we approach the weekend, though, Northern California is forecast to see a cool down somewhat by next week. However, in Southern California, we're likely to see some high winds across the mountain ridges as well as the desert passes. This all is going to elevate the fire danger in those areas. The recent earthquake in Napa, as well as the wildfires this summer, bring an important reminder to ensure that you have an emergency kit readily available. After speaking to several Napa residents over the weekend that were affected by the quake, many had kits, but they couldn't find them during their time of need. Have your emergency kit where you can easily get to it, even in the middle of the night without power. Learn what items should be in your emergency kit at readyforwildfire.org. That's the latest on the fire situation in California. I'm Daniel Berlant. Have a fire safe week.